Okay, this is uh, an LR question which uh, may look easy when you read it for the first time, but eventually when you start solving, you will start getting cases. Okay, and the cases are going to be very, uh, very difficult ones, maybe a couple of them, and a couple of them are going to be very easier ones, and there is always a possibility that we may have missed out on some cases. Okay. So, it's better to try such questions at the end of the exam, at the end, the half an hour, at the last 20 minutes or 25 minutes of the paper. So, let's see what all things are given to us in this LR question. There are seven people, seven persons, namely A to G, comprising of three females and four males. So, we have gender and names as of now. So I'm going to denote female genders by elliptical or circular notions and I'm going to denote male genders by rectangular or square ones so that I do not have to write again M or F or male or female under each alphabet. So this is the notation that I'm going to use for gender. Next, each of these seven persons was born on the seven different days of the week starting with Sunday. So we'll start with Sunday then we'll go on to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and up to Saturday. So these are the seven days and these seven people were born. Next, no male was born on a day starting with the letter S. So if I have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. So we know that S, the, the, the day starting with the letter S will definitely have females. Okay, so this statement done. Next, D who is not a female. So, D is actually a male person. This person is younger than both F and G. So, I am going to use this as uh, increasing age. So, D who is a male is younger than both F and G. We do not know what is the relation between F and G where F is elder or G is elder. We do not know that. So, this is what we get from second statement. Second statement done. Let's look at the third statement. No two females are born on the consecutive days of the week. So no two females are born on the consecutive days of the week. So that means definitely Monday is a male person and Friday is also a male person. How about this Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday? They can be in, an, in any order. One female and two male are still left because there are a total of three females and four males. Okay, next statement says, fourth one, F who is a female is younger than A who is a female. So F who is a female is younger than A who is a female. Next it says G is younger than F. So it says G is younger than F. Remember this is increasing age that I am writing and elder than B. So G is elder than B. Do we know the genders of G and B as of now? No, we do not. So if I combine both of these with this being increasing age, I can say that we have A, F, G, B and D. So what is the relation between B and D? We do not know, but we do know that, that D has to be younger than G and B also has to be younger than G. Okay, next it says C is younger than only one person. So that means there is only one person who is elder than C. So C definitely occupies the Monday wallet, Monday day. Okay, so now out of seven days, one particular day is done and then we have one from here, we have one, two, three, four and five. Five people are known about their order. C is known. We do not know anything about E because if you go through the statements, you will not find the alphabet E written over anywhere. Okay. So let's redraw this in a table, a proper table. So this is what we get. One thing we know that is Sunday is definitely occupied by a female, Mondays by a male person, Friday is again by a male person, Saturday is by a female person.
Monday is definitely C, that is for sure. Okay. Now, uh, if we look at this portion, the last portion, we can see that F cannot be this F cannot be the person who is going to be born on Saturday because there is someone which is going to be younger than F. There are three people younger than F, right? At least three people younger than F. So this one cannot be F. So A is for sure this. The, the, the A is the person who was born on Sunday. And F has to be at some place where we can have three more people to the right of them. So F can either take Tuesday or F can either take Wednesday. F can take either of any of these two days. So we are going to have cases now. So let's fill this up and let's draw a bigger table now. So this is strong. So these are some specific people with a specific gender that are going to be constant in I do not know as of now how many cases are going to be there but let's take it as there are going to be three cases now if you look at the previous case we need to place this particular table which says a f g b d in the next one so we have a female which is elder than another female f f is elder than g g is elder than d and b out of this d and b d is known to be a male person okay so first case let's say f is was born on tuesday then G may be at when may be born on Wednesday or Thursday. So let's say G is born on Wednesday. Let's say B is born on Thursday. Then D comes to be Friday, and we have Saturday the leftover person, which is E. We may also have F being born on Tuesday, or let's say G born on Wednesday, E born on Thursday, D born on Friday and E born on uh, B born on Saturday. So what about the genders of G and B? They are definitely going to be male. Okay. We may have more cases under the same thing. Let's say F is was born on Tuesday uh, and E was born on Wednesday. G was born on Thursday. D was born on Friday and B was born on Saturday. We may also have A born on Sunday, C born on Monday, F born on Tuesday, G born on Wednesday, D born on Friday, E born on Friday, uh, sorry, D born on Thursday, E born on Friday, B born on Saturday. So we don't have a lot of cases. So let's assume that uh, we are going to have at least four cases when F is born on Tuesday. And when F is born on Wednesday, then we have, if we look at it over here, we have these three people coming directly under F. So we have F, then we have G, then we have D, and then we have B. So B becomes definitely female and G becomes male. What about E? E will take the place on Tuesday and male. Reason being, we already have one, two and three female. Now let's look at the uh, questions that follow so that we are able to solve something out of this. Okay, which of the following cannot be the day on which F was born? Sorry, on which day uh, D was born? So. As per the options, it says Friday, Thursday and Wednesday. D may be born on Friday. D may be born on Thursday. But D cannot be on Wednesday ever. Because between F and D, there is one person who is definitely going to be G. So even if F 
was born at the earliest most day which is tuesday g will definitely occupy wednesday which cannot be taken by d d as in delta cannot be taken by delta on wednesday delta as in d will be born at least on thursday so the right answer for this is wednesday d cannot be born on wednesday let's look at the next question who among the following is a definite uh, definitely a male among b g and e if you look at this e may be a female or may be a male b may be a female or b may be a male but no matter where we place g will definitely be a male person so g is definitely male so right answer is b option next if e was born on saturday so now this will give us at least one case then we on which day the week b was born so let's see if e was born on saturday okay so if e was born on saturday we have this case only f is on tuesday f is over here then we have one person right after f which is g and b and d they both will occupy places in the same order not necessarily because b and d is not known to us as in who is the younger or who is the elder so if this is b this is going to be d if this is d this is going to be b okay so question is if e was born on saturday then on which day of the week was b born so b was born either on thursday or friday so the answer should be cannot be determined so the right answer is d option next question c was born on if you look at the table it says c was born on c is definitely going to be always monday so c is going to be born on monday 